time for pop news. Ron, what's cooking? <laughs> <laughs> well, AMC Theaters is uh, commemorating the game one now. Oh, Sarah, pick it up. All right. Pick it up. I'll take it away. From here, Ron. Uh, yeah. AMC Theaters was commemorating Gene Wilder's biggest films, bringing back 1971's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, one of my personal favorites, along with 1974's Blazing Saddles, one of Ron's favorites. <laughs> it is actually <laughs> great movie. It's yeah. a both of them. Fan of Wilder's Willy Wonka can snag a golden ticket for just five bucks at one of 200 locations this weekend, while Blazing Saddles gallops across 60 big screens. It's all to pay tribute to Wilder, who passed on Monday at 83 years old. That's a big loss. It really is. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I know. I think I got to watch Willy Wonka just to remember a little bit. But, Daddy, I want one now. What's the next item in Pop? <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, just because you're a princess. Thank you. Just because you're a princess doesn't mean you're blind to the bottom line. Kate Middleton making headlines on an outing to England's South Coast with her thrifty outfit. Those blue and white patterned pants, Paula, you asked about them earlier, yes, they're on now. sale at The Gap for only $30. No way. Yes, but she did complete her look with a $500 Smythe blazer, but I feel like that you, that's an investment piece. Jackets are always a little more expensive. They really are because it's something that's, you know, foundational to your wardrobe that you might wear for the next 10 years. Beautiful Unlike the $30 pants. Which might be on trend and not next year. Yep. This okay. is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I'm, uh, you know what, you guys? I'm, I'm, this is going, I'm missing the best pop news ever. <laughs> I'm missing Rob yeah. Marciano wow. right now. Yeah. Okay. Rob would not be of help. This is to a you. classic. He would throw us a bone. <laughs> no. But you guys, <laughs> this, he might would be not. Of, this might be of interest to you, Dan. Okay. Yeah. Do you that ever wonder? Third time to <laughs> try. <laughs> because it's all about Dan, right? It is, it is. And Here at this show. Yeah, I Do you ever wonder what Santa's helpers have been up to this summer? Yeah. Dying to know. Yeah, what are they doing? Well, the photographer Mary Beth Cape. He <laughs> taps into the history mystery with her new collection of photos, oh, no. sharing a glimpse of what they do during their off season. Here we have Joe, who escapes to Florida when taking time off. That's an elf. No, that's that's one of Santa's, Santa's helpers. Oh. Roy collects American political memorabilia on his vacation. Greg is a carpenter, and finally Lance takes a break from rocking around the Christmas tree to rock the keyboard. Oh yes. Come on, you guys. Only 112 days until these guys get back to work. Awesome. Those look like actual Santas, not Santa's helpers. Well, the reason is, is Santa can't be at every store through the Christmas or the holiday season, so he sends helpers in his place. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, gotcha. Roger that. That's why. Uh, thank Fair you for enough. the clarification, Sarah. Yeah. You know. Exactly. How many, days? My mom How many days did you say last? 112. Did you know? 112. Um, by the way, we want to remind you about a big game uh, right here on ABC. It's the big Bama USC game. Who are you picking? SC, all yeah. the way. Forget the, the points. The game SC Cox? will win. Gamecocks? Um, Trojans. Trojans, wrong team. Oh. It's all right. Sarah, I would say, <laughs> I would say, stick, I would say stick to pop news. But oh, given, you're thinking of uh, South, that South, Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. Sure. The other USC, yeah. Yes, I'll, thank give you, you. I'll give you that. Thank you. We'll see you back here tomorrow Bama. morning.